we're in the bathroom here. We're gonna do a little buckskin washing. This is a piece of brain tan buckskin we made it to class on Saturday. And brain, soften, smoke, brain again. And it's softened in the place that got stiff right here around the room. As soft as can be now. And now we're gonna wash it. Just wanted everybody to see how immediately the change takes effect once this thing's been smoked. You can dunk it right straight into the wash and get the smoky smell out of it for the most part. This one's been airing out a couple days. I kind of like the smell and enjoy it. So uh, we're going to dunk this in some water and get going. This skin has not been worn yet. It's not heavily soiled. This is just a sort of a pre-wash before we decide to make anything out of it. I got a tub full of water. Got a piece of uh, Irish Spring uh, bath soap. Smells real good. Just gonna dump this thing right on in the water. And it soaks up water just like a sponge. Look at that, how quickly it just becomes completely saturated. Instantly. Notice I got just enough water to keep it up. I'm gonna have to put the camera down and use both hands, but I'm just gonna take the soap and kind of go over all surfaces with it, wring it out, hang it out on the line. Alright, be back in a few. Alright, got it good and soapy. Get my whole clear soap matches out of it. It's not a big deal to get all of it. The more that you get out, the lighter the skin becomes. We're gonna rinse this, get the soap out of it because it's all soapy. Uh, rinse it real good, and then we're gonna go hang it on the line. All right, I just kind of squeezed it out by hand as much as I could. It's not dripping wet, but this thing uh, holds a lot of water. I'll show you what it's like to wring it out. Tain, uh, just full of water at this point. Plug skin soaks up water like a sponge. Like a chamois. It's already almost dry and it's just as soft as it was as soon as we had finished softening it and smoked it. It's just as soft. Now we're going to walk over here and hang it on the line. Well, that's pretty much it. Now we're just going to use our fancy solar powered clothes dryer to dry this thing. We'll come back in a little while and uh, see how dry it is. All right, so it's been hanging on the line for just a little while now. As you can see, it's just a, just a tad stiff. We're going to give this thing a few stretches and uh, show you how it gets back soft right quick. Be right back. All right, here we are. That took about every bit of a minute. You can see now that it's all limber again. It's still a little damp. Don't sound nothing like cardboard anymore. Uh, once it gets good and dry, the edges are still a little wet. Once it gets real good and dry, I'll take it and uh, give it another minute of stretching, and it'll be just as soft as it ever was. So there you go. That's washing buckskin. Maybe we'll come back in a few minutes and, well, maybe another hour, and uh, it'll be dry, and I'll show you how soft it is once it's done. This is the buckskin that had been washed and hung on the line. You can see now that it's not stiff at all very very limp very soft not very not bristly I went over it a little bit with a, a piece of pumice just to buff the little stiffness off the top surface of it there you have it nice soft buckskin that's been washed smells good smells like Irish Spring still got some real pretty color in it And this is going to find its home with the kids from the class. I'm going to drop it in the mail today. Hope they enjoy it. Just in case you was still a little up in the air on whether or not you could wash buckskin. I hope that makes you convinced this is the same piece that was hanging on the line.